Welcome back. Now with the latest in sports, we go to Leah Vey. Thanks, Anna. Here's what's happening in the world of sports. Canada's Andre de Grasse is out of the race against rival runner Usain Bolt after sustaining a leg injury on Wednesday. De Grasse's agent says he was working on his start at London's Mile End Stadium when he felt a pop in his right leg. He was diagnosed with a grade 2 hamstring strain and the injury is enough to keep him out of the 100-meter dash. De Grasse released a statement this morning saying, quote, To not have this opportunity is unimaginable to me but it is the reality I am faced with. A hot mic has Toronto Blue Jays announcers Buck Martinez and Pat Tabler in some heat. The pair are heard criticizing Stroman for talking trash to Chicago White Sox players. What they didn't know was that they were still live on air. He just can't help himself. Right. He just had to holler back over to White Sox. Stroman was quick to take to social media after the clip surfaced, tweeting Wednesday, Lions never concern themselves with the opinions of sheep, a lightning bolt emoji, hashtag HGMH, his personal trademark, height doesn't measure heart. Former heavyweight boxing champion Vladimir Klitschko is hanging up his gloves. Klitschko's stint as champ came to an end when he was knocked out by Anthony Joshua in April. The announcement comes as a surprise as many expected a rematch between the two fighters in the future. Klitschko is expected to continue his career as a politician in Ukraine. That's your look at sports. Time now for your three-day forecast. Scott Hokanen has the details. Here's your three-day forecast. Today we've got a high of 29 and a low of 20, but unfortunately there's a risk of thunderstorms coming in the afternoon, and those thunderstorms might carry on into tomorrow. On Friday, we've got a high of 27 and a low of 16, and once again, rain and thunder. Moving on to Saturday, good news, people. We're going to have some sun with a high of 22 and a low of 14. Right back to you, Anna. Thanks, Scott. We leave you today with this. If you're looking somewhere to eat that this summer, Adelaide Eats has a number of food stands to try. Vendors will continue to offer food from Monday to Friday until August 18th. Humber News reporter Daniel Mitri has the story. Adelaide Eats has returned to Toronto for its third consecutive year. Located on the second floor terrace of Adelaide Place, the series of food stands offers a wide variety of dishes and drinks varying in all sorts of worldwide cuisines. A little bit about what's going on over here. So, Adelaide Eats is about um, introducing Toronto to new concepts of food, introducing uh, new restaurants, and making sure that everyone gets their foodie out of the way for the day. The food market offers chefs from around the city a chance to show off their talents and fill the stomachs of hungry patrons. Why is Adelaide Eats important to you? Adelaide Eats is important. It's a good way to find more customers, uh, a larger customer base, let people know where we are, who we are, and what we do. A number of benches are set up around the terrace to see the wave of patrons looking for good food. And so why is Adelaide Eats important to you? I mean, I really like the rush. I mean, I had done catering for the last six months and coming back into Ad uh, to an atmosphere where you get hit with 100 people all at once. It's uh, quite an enjoyable experience. Uh, I like the adrenaline. That's why I got into this industry. It's why I switched out of finance to become a chef. Awesome. Adelaide Eats is not only for our busier city folk, but for families as well. Here at Adelaide Eats, the air is filled with wonderful aromas and the seats filled with hungry people. With such a wide variety of fantastic food made by talented chefs, we can't wait until next time. I'm Daniel Mitri, Humber News. That's all for today. I'm Anna O'Brien. Remember, you can head to humbernews.ca anytime for all the day's news and much more. And of course, you can also follow us on Twitter. Humber News is written and produced by students in the Journalism Postgrad program. We'll see you again next time.